Hey everybody, welcome back. So you're looking at the underside of the bed from my oldest Ender 3. I have been having issues with the heat bed on that printer, getting thermal runaway issues and failure to heat issues. So I popped the board cover off and I tested for voltage at the board and I had 24 volts. And I popped the bed off and flipped it over and tested for voltage on the bed itself and did not have 24 volts. So I uncovered, I took all the wire covering off and I looked and the wiring all appeared to be intact and okay, but nonetheless I've got 24 volts on one end and not on the other. So I flipped the meter over to continuity, took, unplugged the printer and tested for continuity and I had no continuity on either wire, yet the insulation was completely intact, everything looked good. So I pulled on the wires and we flip it around where you can see it and the um, the insulation pulled right out and you can see let me let me show it to you see if I can get up and get it up on camera any better the insulation just pulled right out of the wires about an inch back from the ends it had just completely broken so that's obviously not gonna work like that everything else appears okay so to the rescue we um, picked up some, and I measured that wire, and it looks like it's probably a metric gauge wire, probably 1.5 millimeter wire, which would equal 15 gauge in the U.S. Of course, I couldn't, not going to find 15 gauge wiring easily, so I got some, I didn't want to go any smaller, so I got 14 gauge wiring, and this is silicone, and man, is this wire ever flexible, which I like, and it is just a tiny bit bigger tiny bit larger than the 1.5 millimeter that came on it and um, picked me up some of this stuff to cover it with. I like this stuff because it is slit down the sides which means if I ever want to go back and look inside I don't need to cut it all open. I can just pull it off out of the slit and have a look at it. I think I paid four or five bucks for the I think what did I get six feet of this was supposed to I think be Oh, three feet of wire and um, 10 feet of this 3 h plastic cover, I think was $2.50 down at the local hardware store, local Lowe's home improvement shop. Anyway, I'm going to get this all put back together, going to get it soldered back up, and we will test it, and we'll see if that doesn't solve the problem. I can't imagine it, do it won't, because obviously when you have no continuity at either end of the wire, you know, <laughs> something's wrong. So anyway... I'll check back with you guys and I'll let you know and hopefully we'll have hey it everybody, fixed. Hey everybody, welcome Bye back. Now. I've got it all back together. I had some trials and tribulations getting the wires back in the control board. The tinned ends were a little bit bigger than the old ones and didn't want to go back in. But a um, little bit of wiggling and some foul language and we got it all back together. And as you can see, it kind of um, moves nice and can you see? Kind of moves nice and smoothly, doesn't hook on anything. I had to re-engineer the little strain relief part to fit my new wire loom, but I'm pretty happy with the whole thing. We are back up to temperature. It's been sitting here for about 15-20 minutes. I have leveled the bed, and I have just kind of um, watched it as I've moved it back and forth. And I think that's it. I can't think of anything else I need to tell you about it, but I'm pretty happy about it now. We can finally put this printer back in service and stop having bed heat issues on it and if you have any questions let me know below and i'll answer the best i can please like and subscribe and hit the notifications and if there is um any chance you could use my affiliate links that'd be great and thank you very much for those of you who have and that's it for today talk to you late all later bye for now